And Jay Mailman, the more I think about it, the more it becomes clear to me that Jimmy Dore would have been a copperhead during the Civil War, yelling mm. about how the North had no right to invade the South and begging people to buy his weekly paper. Lincoln's a freaking tyrant. I can't believe nobody we're, sees we're gonna that play, extra we have a clip. We'll, we'll wait uh, for... Uh, there was a uh, study that came out. Well, I'll wait. I'll wait until Emma's back. Because um, this is just, again, the... The desperation to to make money or, you know, and to fulfill and to and, and and, you know, one of the things that happens. And I'll wait till Emma gets in here, but. One of the the things that that happens when you start to uh, pop them up here, one of the things that happens when you start to cultivate a right wing audience is you start to take your news from right-wing sources and <clears throat> you start to take your opinions from right-wing sources. And if you start doing that and have no history of ever having to read anything for your work, like Jimmy Dore, he would never read a thing. It was that was always my biggest complaint with him. When we called him a dumb, dumb lefty, it was an acknowledgement that he was of the left, but he's an idiot. And uh, regardless of your ideology, if you don't do any work um, when you do what we do here at all, uh, you're going to say stupid things. And that was and, that's been well documented from your outside perspective on it as well. But it was also well known within TYT that he was. I mean, it's reading. obvious. Yeah. It's obvious. You know, like and he thinks that what he's doing, you know, I'm going to read this tweet slowly and repeat it. And therefore, it makes it seem like I know what I'm talking about. Here he takes a study that has been released. And the study shows they studied depressed people and they did not find a uh, an or I should say a excess of serotonin or I should say, or I should say an absence of serotonin when you take a SSRI a serotonin uh, uptake inhibitor it keeps the serotonin in your uh, in your brain essentially and from receding if serotonin is released and then it's uh, essentially uh, reabsorbed. It, it keeps it from being reabsorbed. Um, nobody's quite sure why SSRIs work. They only know that, you know, with ones that have been around for an extended period of time and, and others, what the side effects are and how dangerous they are. But it's quite, um, you know, uh, typical for people who go on SSRIs to play with the dosage, to switch to other ones uh, because one might make them drowsy or one might make them feel jittery and switching them. So science doesn't know. But this, this um, research does not speak to the efficacy of serotonin uptake inhibitors. It talks about the relationship between only between serotonin and depressed people. And it doesn't address the efficacy of SSRIs at all, but that's not what right-wing blogs said because they're still on their anti-COVID vax um, jag, essentially. Yeah, this is anti-vaxxers branching out. Yeah. And, and here is, I give you, uh, Jimmy Dore's latest. A new study, The Serotonin Theory of Depression, a systematic umbrella review of the evidence. So they did a systematic umbrella review of the evidence. I repeated umbrella uh, view. And who, <laughs> who were they? These are researchers from the University College London. They conducted what they call an umbrella review of Again? past meta studies. And they did systematic analysis of depression's relationship to serotonin activity. And it included tens of thousands of participants. I think that comes from the Hill. So here, here it is from this paper. It says, our comprehensive review of the major strands of research on serotonin shows there is no convincing evidence that depression is associated with or caused by 
lower serotonin concentrations or activity. That's exactly what Tom Cruise was just saying. He was saying there is no chemical imbalance. And now this paper is proving it. I I've heard other people say no, uh, that is not what the paper is proving. And also, he's citing Tom Cruise here? Tom Cruise. The People reason, trying to cancel Tom Cruise now. The reason that Tom Cruise is not in favor of, and I think he went on like 15 years ago, some rant against, oh, he does talk about this? We'll get to that in a second. But Ted Cruz believes that Scientology and the power of Dianetics is what's going to actually save you from your depression. And so now that's the source that we're saying has the right idea about Antidepressants? It's Tom really? Cruise, not Ted Cruz, I think you might have said. Did I say Ted? Yeah, Tom Cruise. Well, I'm not used to talking about Tom Cruise in this <laughs> setting, but here we go. Jimmy Dore clip. I, I, I continue here. And remember, this is not what the study says. The study's, study is only looking at one narrow thing, and it is actually a study of other studies. Activity. That's exactly what Tom Cruise was just saying. He was saying there is no chemical imbalance. And now this paper is proving it. I've heard other people say it and thought they were kooky for saying it. I've heard other people say that there's no chemical imbalance. I, I thought for sure it was. So most studies found most studies found no evidence of reduced serotonin activity in people with depression compared to people without. And methods to reduce serotonin availability using tryptophan depletion do not consistently lower mood in volunteers. So when they got rid of the serotonin artificially, when they just, when they did that, they lowered people's serotonin levels. It didn't lead them to ha have a, a bad mood. So they're they're saying there isn't a connection between serotonin and mood. That's what they're saying, and that there's no evidence of that people with the, uh, uh, reduced serotonin. Is is present in people with depression. Just what Tom Cruise was saying 17 years ago. Tom Cruise, almost two decades out in front of the rest of the goddamn medical profession. Wait, wait, oh wait, my God, pause, did he pause, do his pause. own? Does it, does it, like, doesn't that like make you like, I, just to even say those things, like even if what, even if the characterization of the study was accurate, okay? Wouldn't you say something like, what a coincidence. Uh, like, what a coincidence that Tom Cruise was right, because there's no way Tom Cruise knew any yeah. of this. Stuff. Well, also, you couldn't say the Scientologists who told Tom Cruise about this were right, because that would sound in immediately discrediting to an audience. Oh, but not citing an action hero and saying that he was a head of scientists by two decades when he criticized Brooke Shields that's for why taking antidepressants. That's, I mean, that's, that's science. That's why Scientology uses celebrities, though. I know, I know. But, I mean, Tom Cruise completely buys that crap. You just need more electrical impulses into the brain. And to jump up on the couch and scream at Oprah Winfrey. Well, see, he doesn't need yeah. SSRIs, Bradley. The I study love her. was not. The amazing thing is the study was not at all about antidepressants. It didn't involve antidepressants gotcha. whatsoever. And they just don't know um, why anti uh, antidepressants work. But all of the uh, evidence, you can go look at the uh, Lancet. I'm looking at one here. Uh, comparative of efficacy and acceptability of 21, and this is Lancet's coming out of Britain, uh, of 21 antidepressant drugs for the acute treatment of adults with major depressive disorder, a systemic review and network meta-analysis. The, 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 the summary is um, essentially that the best available uh, evidence prescription of these agents should be informed by the best of it. Therefore, we aim to update and expand our previous work to compare and rank antidepressants for the acute uh, treatment of adults with unipolar uh, major depressive disorder. And their findings was that there was efficacy. And again, it's not clear why these things work, but um, they work. And it it is maybe the process of inhibiting uh, serotonin, maybe there's like knockoff effects. But when you have people who are idiots, who try and interpret these things because they want to overlay their, I hesitate to call it an ideology, but I guess it is on some level. They want to overlay their ideology onto things they can't, they don't know how to read. 
and they won't accept um, experts reading it. They're le literally citing Tom Cruise, who I can assure you did no research regarding this. No. Um, it is interesting, too, how they're trying to parlay this vaccine skepticism into broader skepticism about other drugs. Yep. And for me, um, this is an obvious attempt by someone like Dorr and other influencers trying to appeal to the right wing uh, to get some of that bro science audience from, from Joe Rogan. It's like, you know, don't take SSRIs if you need them. Don't take uh, your meds if you have bipolar disorder or you are struggling with depression don't do that you just gotta, you gotta buy alpha yeah. force or, I mean, or or meditate harder the right whatever. wing is blaming ssris for any school shooting that happens too yeah that's, that's their that, immediately yeah. first thing that they throw. right so it's mental health but it's not the it's the treatment of mental health i'm, I'm still trying to parse out what angle they're going to go with on there but i feel like they they see a natural connection with prescription uh, meds and and uh, and anti-vax stuff. It's super dangerous too. Again, we're in another realm where it's just super dangerous to do this. Yeah. Uh, because antidepressants have saved, I, I don't know how many lives, but. I and mean, like that you would even go into this field and then, you know, I mean, in before he complains about how people are criticizing him for just asking questions, but like about things that you are not don't feel responsible for, actually, like, does he res feel responsible for people who didn't get the vaccine and used got a monthly prescription to ivermectin instead? Of course not. He doesn't actually give a shit about any of this stuff, but he'll still be put upon uh, and act aggrieved when people criticize him for it. Yeah, it's fascinating. I really don't know how someone operates like that unless they're, you know, I mean, his self-medication is really what it is. I mean, that's why when you, you need to drink uh, to the extent that he does mm -hmm. and take other substances, that's why. That's the self-medication there. But um, anybody else who wants to take SSRIs, that might be dangerous. <laughs> don't look at the, I mean, everybody takes substances. It's so ridiculous. It's got a, sometimes it's medicinal and sometimes it's self-medicinal in his case.